Hello students, in this video we'll see how to parameterize an epicycloid. What is an epicycloid? If you have the xy plane, if I give you a circle of radius a, so that would be a, and then I have a circle of radius b that's rolling along the outside of this circle. So I have a circle of radius b that's rolling along the outside of the circle. So in other words, what's the key ingredient behind this? If I draw a line theta that goes between the center of this through the center of this small from the origin over here through the center of the circle over here, then a point on this epicycloid will satisfy what relationship? It'll satisfy the relationship that if you have a point over here on the epicycloid, then it must be the case that this length of arc over here, and of course this is not to scale, this length of arc right there will have to be equal to this length of arc. Okay, so those lengths of arc are the same. So if this is b, and this is an angle psi, and this is an angle theta, then the definition of epicycloid, again, this is not to scale, but it must be the case, if that's a point on the epicycloid over here, right there, then that point has to have a relationship that b times psi has to be a times, so the arc length over here is b times psi, the arc length over here is just a times theta. So that relationship is doing what's going to define the point on the epicycloid. Now, the key to do is I'm going to draw another angle over here. So I'm going to draw a parallel down over here. And now, what's the, what are the coordinates of this point over here? The coordinate of this point, how far away are we from the x-axis over here? Well, this, uh, this long length over here is going to be what? It's going to be a, the hypotenuse is going to be, so it's going to be a plus b times what? Times the cosine of theta. That's this length over here. And this dot line length is going to be a plus b times the sine of theta. Okay? What we can do now is we can draw a triangle. So what happens is I'm going to draw a triangle over here, like so. I'm going to focus in on this triangle. That's going to help me find the, the coordinates of my point. So the coordinate point on the epicycloid will just be this point over here, x, y. Okay? And I'm going to find another angle over here. Let's call this angle over here phi. Okay? So now if we look at this, I have a big, tri big right triangle over here, so there's a relationship between phi and theta and psi. What's the relationship? It must be the case that phi plus psi plus phi is pi over 2 minus theta, or equivalently that theta is pi over 2 minus psi plus phi. So they're co-angles with respect to each other. Great. Now what can I say about the x point on my hypocycloid? The x point on my hypocycloid, uh, excuse me, my epicycloid. The x point is going to be what? The x point is going to be the length a plus b cosine theta, a plus b cosine theta, but I've overshot the point now, so I have to subtract off this distance over here. And that distance over there is exactly b times the sine of phi. So that distance right over there is the distance I have to subtract off. That distance is a distance of minus b sine of phi. Okay? And then what's the y coordinate of my epicycloid? It's going to be a plus b sine of phi. Then that's to subtract off the what? The b times the cosine of phi. b cosine of phi. Now, how can I um, represent phi over here? So it looks like the relationship is that phi, uh, the phi over here, so what we'll have, I'll have theta plus psi. So I'm going to use all these relationships together now. So what can we say? I want to relate phi as a co-angle co of something over here. So what will it be? So I can write down that I can do psi plus theta, for example, is equal to what? Is equal to pi over 2 minus phi. So therefore, what's phi equal to? So phi is also a co-angle of this. So solving for phi, I can conclude that phi, by putting it on the other side of the equation, is equal to pi over 2 minus what? Minus psi plus theta. So I can update these equations over here. So these are co-angles. So what's the co-angle over here? I have a sine of phi that will turn into a what? Cosine. So I can change these equations now to a plus b cosine of theta minus b. The sine of phi is the same thing as the cosine of this angle over here, the cosine of psi plus theta, and the y will be what? It'll be a plus b sine phi minus b times the sine of psi 
plus theta. Now I need to use this relationship over here. What's the relationship between psi and theta? Well, what do I know about psi? This equation over here tells me that psi is equal to a over b theta, which tells me that psi plus theta, psi plus theta, is just going to be a over b plus 1 times theta, which we can write as um, theta plus psi is equal to b, a plus b, a plus b over b times theta. Now we can update the equation of our epicycloid. The parameterization will be what? It's going to be x is equal to a plus b cosine of theta minus b times the cosine of a plus b, a plus b over b theta. And y will be a plus b sine theta minus b times the sine of a plus b over b theta. And this is the parameterization of our epicycloid. Thank you very much.